In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you exactly how you can get started with Vid.io's video editing tool. This tool works amazing for anyone that wants to start creating videos. You don't have to learn a complicated platform like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. So to show you how this platform exactly works, I will create a video live in front of you. If you want to follow along, click on the link in the description down below and let's get started. Once you're logged into Vite, this is the dashboard that you will see. You go to create a new project and now it gives you a few options. You can just create a blank project or you can use a template. Within the template feature, you have plenty of options available, but for this, we are just gonna use a blank project. Now you can upload your files if you already have them on your computer. You can just go with a blank canvas and import nothing. Then you can also record a video straight from your computer. You can upload them through Dropbox or use a link. You can start with stock video or stock music, and you can also start with sound effects. So I'm just gonna go record a quick video right now. And when you record a video, you can start with your camera, you can use your screen, you can use your screen and your camera together. But for this, I'm just gonna go with the camera feature. So now we can record our video. This is an example video. If I were to make, if I were to make a mistake, then I can seamlessly edit this out. I can also add stock footage, subtitles, and other cool elements with Vite.io's video editor. So now your video is uploading and you can add it to the project. Now we are in the video editor tool, but before I show you all of its features, let's quickly trim the mistakes that I made in that video. So to show you the audio that's connected to this video, you click on this one right here. And now you can see the sound waves of your video. Let me drag it over to the part where I made the mistake. Let me listen to this. If I were to make... If so I made a mistake right here. Let me just use the split button, but you can also click on S. The S is the shortcut for splitting. So I'm just gonna hit split. Now I'm gonna trim it to a part where I want to remove the mistake. I'm gonna hit S again. And now I can remove this part by hitting backspace or delete or delete on my keyboard. And now I can remove this part. Now this leaves us with a blank space over here. So I'm gonna click it again, click on backspace. And now our part is connected again. And now it looks like this. If I were to make a mistake. So you barely even notice that I make a cut right there. Video. If I were to make a mistake, then I can seamlessly edit this out. I can. I also want to remove this blank space over here because I'm not saying anything. So let me hit split again. Now I'm gonna drag it over to this part. Hit split again. Remove this, remove this also. And now our video is added to look like this. this out. I can also add. So that just makes the bit smoother, which is better to watch for your audience. Let me also remove the ending because I were to end the video right here. And let me cut it off right there. Hit split, remove this. And now our video is cut into pieces. If you click on one of the parts of your video, then you can edit the video in here. You can speed it up, you can add animations, you can adjust it. There's also a cool magic tool, which is Clean Audio. This automatically removes the background noise from your video. It is a premium version, so if you want this, you need to go with a premium plan. And how much that will cost, I will cover that later. But let's continue editing our video. So if we go to the Add Media section, over here you can upload your files, you can add some stock footage, you can add some stock music or even sound effects. Um, for this, I'm gonna add some stock footage. So when I mention something about stock footage, then I want stock footage to pop up. So let me find that part. Add stock footage. Stock footage. So right here, I mentioned something about stock footage. Now for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna use this parrot. Um, you can search all kinds of stock footage. They have a ton of stock footage available. Some of it is premium, another is free to use. So I'm just gonna click on this one. And now it adds this into our timeline. As you can see, this is way too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim it down to the part where I want to remove it. So let me just find that part. Stock footage, subtitles, and other cool elements. So I want to have it really short. Footage. I want to have it till here. I'm just gonna hit S. And now I'm gonna remove this part. And now we have stock footage for this part. Add stock footage, subtitles, and other cool elements with. Okay. 
another thing that I want to add to our video is some background music. Uh, they have some options available. I'm just going to use this Lofi background music. Just going to click on add. Because I was selected on here, it starts right there. Uh, if you want to start it from the beginning, then you have to drag it over to the beginning. And now let me zoom in the timeline a little bit. Now our video has some background music. This is an example video. If I were to make a mistake. So let me cut it off right here. And click on it, hit S, remove this part. And I think it's a bit too loud compared to my own talking. So I'm gonna drag the slider all the way to like 25%. And I'm gonna use the fade in and fade out section. What this will do is it will fade it in. So it will go from like low sound to like a bit higher sound later in the video. Uh, this takes like 2.2 seconds. You can also make it fade in longer or shorter, whatever you like. So now it sounds like this. This is an example video. If I were to make a mistake, then I can seamlessly... Besides the music that we have added, I also want to add in a sound effect when the stock footage appears. So I'm gonna use this pop sound effect. But they also have other cool sound effects like a mouse click or a forest bird singing. You can do whatever you like, you can search for it, but let's go with this pop one. Let me just drag it over to the part where I want it. So that will be right there. Click on add. And now it adds another audio track in the bottom. And let me zoom in a little bit. Now our audio starts right here. And let's see what it sounds like. Add stock footage. Sub so when the stock footage appears, you hear that pop. And I think that sounds pretty good. Besides this, I also want to add the subtitles because I mentioned it in the video and we have a bunch of different options available. What I really like about Vita is that you have the auto subtitle feature. So you no longer have to write subtitles yourself. You can just hit auto subtitle and now you can select the duration of your subtitle. I'm gonna go with the full project. You select the language that's being spoken. It supports a ton of different languages and you can also add auto highlighting. With the highlighting, it highlights specific words that you want to put emphasis on. So I'm gonna turn this on and now we can create the subtitles. So that took like 10 seconds to add in and you can see we have this new track in our timeline. Let me zoom out a little bit. And now we have the subtitle. So let's see if it made any mistake and if it did, then we can edit that. So let's see what it looks like. This is an example video. If I were to make a mistake, then I can seamlessly edit this out. I can also add stock footage, subtitles, and other cool elements with Feed.io's video app. So it made the mistake of not knowing what Feed.io's name is. Um, what you do if you want to change it, you click on the subtitle, and then you click on the word. Now it brings us over to the subtitle part right here. And as you can see, it already thinks it's a low confidence word, so it doesn't really know what you're saying. Let me just change this to feed, feed IO. And now we have changed this mistake. If you want to highlight the word, then you double tap it and then you click on the B. And now this part is highlighted. So right now we have subtitles, we have stock footage but let's also add some text in the intro. If we move over to the text, then we have a bunch of different headlines that we can choose from, but they also have some fonts available that you can use. For example, this one is an outro. You can add like a speaker name tag and anything that you'd like. So let me find a cool one that I'd like to add in there. So I like the look of this one. Let me drag over to the beginning of our video and I'm gonna click on it and now it adds these three timelines in there. I'm gonna make them a little bit shorter because I don't want to have them that long. I'm gonna change the text to example video and I have to do that for each section. And now it looks like this. This is an example. Okay, that was a little bit too short. Let me drag it over to here. And because I've chosen this template, it already has an animation in there. This is an example video. 
but I want to change it a little bit. For example, this one, I want to change the color to, let's go with red. The other one, I want to change the color to, let's go with yellow, a bit brighter yellow. And then the last one, let's go with blue. So now it looks like this. This is an example video. If I were to we can also change the font, we can change the size, the positioning and all of that. So now that we have the text in the beginning, let's add a few elements. You have a bunch of different elements available. If you have the premium version of feed, then you can add these AI avatars, which I think are really cool and then even might replace me as a spokesperson. But you can also add like a progress bar, sound waves, emojis, shapes, animated stickers, uh, GIFs. You can draw, you have all kinds of cool things, even like brand logos, and you can simply add them in here. So for this example, I want to have a cool GIF pop-up when I talk about the elements, titles, and other elements. So right here, I talk about elements. So let's have one of these elements pop up. I'm gonna click on this one, and now it's gonna import it in a new track. I think it's a little bit too long. With Feed.io's video editor. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it right here. Now I'm gonna move it over to the left side so you still see me on the screen. And then I want to have another element on the other side of me. So let's see what else we have. <laughs> let's go with this cat. And now I'm gonna position it at the same length as the other one. Gonna move it over. I think it's a little bit too big, so let me just drag this part. And now if we go do this and remove this black bar, now we have them without the black bar. Make it a little bit bigger. And now on the side, when I talk about elements, add stock footage, subtitles, and other cool elements with Feed.io's video editor. Now we have these elements, um, but I actually messed up because the video ends right here. Let me just shorten it a little bit. Okay, so I want to add a transition to our parrot. Uh, I like this push to left one. So let me add this to the ending of it. And now if we watch this, push, subtitles, and other we see it like disappear, moving to the left, which looks pretty cool. I also want to add something to our GIFs. I want to make them dissolve in the end. So I'm gonna add this in the ending. And now we have our and GIFs. Another cool element with Feed.io's video editor. Dissolve in the end. So now our video already looks pretty cool. Let me show you what it looks like right now. This is an example video. If I were to make a mistake, then I can seamlessly edit this out. I can also add stock footage, subtitles, and other cool elements with Feed.io's video editor. Now the last thing what we can do is we can add some filters in there. You have some filters to add like color grading. Um, so if you select the video that you want to have color grading on, then click on filters, select the one that you like. For example, let's go with this Calm 2. So now you can see the change that it goes to if we click on COM2. We can also go with another one. But personally, I don't like to have a filter on there. What I do like is some effects. So with the effects, you have all of these cool effects available. And what I think looks really cool is the feed Portra. So I want to have that on all of my videos. So I click on the video on the most right side. Then I hit Shift on my keyboard. And now I click the one on the left. And now all of these three clips are selected. Then I head over to the filter tab, click on effects, and then I click on feed portrait. And now all of them should have this filter added to it. So now our video looks like this. This is an example video. If I were to make a mistake, I think that looks pretty cool. And that pretty much wraps up the whole editing part that we've done for our video. But you can also change the settings. If you want to change the size, for example, right now it's in 16 by nine, which is perfect for YouTube. Um, but you can also change it to like 9 by 16, which is good for shorts, Instagram, TikTok. Then you can click on this one right here. And now it will have the same video available for shorts. But because we already added it for YouTube, I'm just going to click undo. 
So now our video is done, we can go ahead and export it. You click on done and then over here we can change the quality. R right now it's on the standard quality and if you want to have higher quality available, then you need to have the premium version. So I don't have that right now, so I'm just gonna go with standard and then I'm gonna hit export video. So this is what our final video looks like. This is an example video. If I were to make a mistake, then I can seamlessly edit this out. I can also add stock footage, subtitles and other cool elements with Vite.io's video editor. So of course you can fine tune it to make it look a bit better, but this is what we have right now for this tutorial. If you have the premium plan available, then it comes with this cool feature, which is an auto title and summary. You can automatically have YouTube timestamps and you can convert your video to a blog post, which I think is really, really cool to have. These are the premium plans that you need if you want to have access to all of the premium features. Then I would definitely suggest going with the pro feature. This allows you to create 1440 minutes of subtitles per month. Uh, you have 180 minutes of translation. You have AI powered video editing. You can also export in a higher resolution and it removes the watermark that we have right here. You have an unlimited upload size, which is very handy to have. For example, the video that I'm recording for this tutorial is already like three to five gigs to record. So I would definitely need this unlimited uploading size to even be able to edit my videos with feed. If you want to get started with feed, then click the link in my description down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.